how do we create really good data exploration dashboards? So in this video, I want to talk about how we give people access to data. And what I find in practice is that lots of organizations are getting this wrong. They simply say, we have a huge data lake with all of our data. We simply put a nice little user interface on top of it that allows a, um, any business users now to find the data and analyze it. And voila, we have a self-service environment. In practice, I find that lots of business users then feel threatened by this, they feel overwhelmed, they don't know exactly what data to use, how to use it. So for me, the analogy uh, I want you to think about when you think about creating data exploration dashboards is a self-service buffet restaurant. So in a really good self-service buffet restaurant, what you do is you give people a buffet that is really user-friendly. So you walk around, you pick your starters, your main courses, and they're all pre-prepared, but you still can put together your own meals. And there's some cooking stations where, we, there where they cook fresh eggs for you and so on. For me, what I find, if you, if you take this analogy, what I see in reality is that companies just dump lots of raw ingredients on a massive pile and then say, okay, here you go off, here's, here's your plate, here's your fork and knife, put a meal together for yourself. So what we need to do instead is, instead of giving, giving people all the raw ingredients, we want to pre-cook some of this, put meal components together, which then allows them to really easily construct their own meals. And to do this, I think it's really important to think about the business questions, any of the business users want to have an answer to. So we have some predefined analysis, some predefined questions saying, okay, these are the core questions. So if you're a marketing manager, you want to understand what accounts are doing really well, which accounts might be an, in danger of churning. Those are key dashboards you can start with. You can give people the question, some initial analysis, and from there, they then can be guided to more insights where they can say, okay, which other customers are in this situation, where they can then construct their meals easily. But instead of piling all the raw ingredients, uncooked pasta, raw cucumber, and everything onto a big pile and say, good luck, you find your answers, we need to spend more time creating these predefined dishes or components of meals. The other thing that I often make and talk about is that we also need more curated KPI dashboards. This is something I talk about in another video that you find on my channel, where I talk about this fine dining experience. Because I, I think for some very senior decision makers, when it comes to the most strategic decisions and the data that we need to inform those decisions, we need to curate this data in a much more um, refined way, a bit like in a fine dining experience. So if you want to learn more about high-level strategic KPI dashboards, have a look at the other video I have on here.